Well, so much for this idea. Yeah. The wheels adjust as they're closed. Huh. Maybe this is a sign. Maybe it's a sign. Well. You got your phone? Yeah. 634-4518. What should I say? You need to come in and make a complaint? Yeah. How do we file a complaint on Thanksgiving? Go to the city police department. Here we go. See? That wasn't such a bad deal. What can I do for you, sir? You need to file a complaint. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, what kind of complaint? What kind of complaint? The kind of complaint I need to file inside. We can do it out here. We can? Yeah. Oh, What's okay. going on? What's, why we can't, we, you got a tape recorder? What's the complaint first? What's the complaint first? So you're going to verify whether I have a valid complaint before we do the complaint? Is yeah. that what the deal is? That's, that's what I asked. Oh, okay. Okay, so who are you? Jay Roning? Is that how you pronounce it? What's so your, what ba you What's your badge number? 513? 513. 513. Can I see your ID, please? Uh, no, thank you. I don't. No, thank you. What can I do for you, Terry? Jeez, he knows exactly who I am, too. What do you have today? <laughs> well, let's see. Back on July 20th, 2007, my house was burglarized by the Lawless Pope County Sheriff's Department. Okay. And see, Christopher King, who's an investigative reporter and a former assistant attorney general, confirmed the fact that they broke in my house without a warrant. So old Timmy Riley, who's the new sheriff, committed perjury, didn't he? See, because he said they had a warrant. Guess what? They never had a warrant. So what are you trying to get out of today? What's your complaint? I just told him what it was, right? Perjury? Okay. Breaking and entering? Uh, kidnapping, perjury, how about those? Okay. Those sound familiar? Sound like something that's a valid complaint? Seeing so this guy right here confirmed it? It's not me saying it. Of course, I knew what I was talking about years ago, but... Okay. Is that what you have then? Anything else? Is there anything else? <laughs> Are you, I mean, you're making some kind of joke here? Uh, I'm trying to give a complaint. You're doing the joke I mean, right here. I just gave you a complaint. I'm wondering if you have anything else. Oh, oh that's it, huh? That, that's it, huh? Well, no, see, because uh, Chad Larson was involved with it. John Staff Schultz involved with it. See, okay. so now Timmy Riley has died, decided to malicious, have me maliciously arrested on July 7th, 2011. It sounds like it and, might be a little... And, and on September 7th, 2011, to try and shut me up. See, it's a little smear campaign against me right here to discredit me, defame me, demonize me, dehumanize me, delegitimize me because they want to say that I'm stalking and harassing for filing a criminal complaint in the lawless Pope County Sheriff's Department. See, and that's the exact same thing they tried to pull on Judd Hoff here when Judd Hoff caught Senator Bill Ingebrigtsen driving around illegally in dealer transplants. Claimed he was stalking him. See how that works right there? You spent quite a bit of time on these, don't you? Sure did. See? And here's Timmy the Perjurer Riley's little sig... Oh, no, that's not it. That's Kundrat's. Here's Timmy the Perjurer Riley's signature right here. See? Look at him kissing a pig. Okay. <laughs> Pretty hilarious, isn't it? So anyhow, here we've got Neil the Tamper Nelson withholding evidence from me in both cases from the July 7th or July 6th 2011 and the September 7th 2011. Now all this information's up on my website at lionnews00.blogspot.com because you know I'm sure if I actually hand it to you go in the shredder so this way you know exactly so where I, it's at. Can I keep those though? You can have you can have What do you got there? You can have this. Oops. Whoops. 
What see, do we got here? Are these the same things? No, they're not the same thing. See, all this is up on Lion News, so you can get copies of them off of there. But see, this is the information in summary right here about Timmy the Perjure Riley. This is about Chad the Found Larson. Send me a weapon to the Todd County Jail. And see, this is why I was falsely arrested back in the September 7th, okay, at, in Villard there by the lawless Pope County Sheriff's Department because I was handing out clear, precise, and unquestionable evidence that Timmy the Perjure Riley was involved in perjury. They broke into my house without a warrant. And see, this is the information that uh, they did not take when they are falsely arrested me. See, that's the evidence they're trying to exclude. And see, this is also stuff that little uh, Josh Owens refused to take along as evidence, which proves... What are these pictures showing me? Well, that's mm -hmm. Helen Staffschild assaulting me out here at the at the courthouse at Waterama in July, uh, what is it, 20, well, Waterama Sunday of last year. Okay, and here is evidence of Neil the Tamperer Nelson tampering with my evidence, whoops, my video. See, they're disabled here, disabled there, okay. This is the, the supposed evidence that he sent me. It was disabled, so that's uh, tampering with evidence right there. That's clear, precise, and unquestionable evidence. Again, that's all up on YouTube. Are up on it's on YouTube and it's up on my website at lionnews00.blogspot.com. Okay, and then uh, oh, got Nathan Breck there making perjured statements here, saying that oh the dispatcher thought I was a worker. Well, unfortunately, I'm wearing a huge shirt, a shoot with a shirt with huge letters on it. it says no kangaroo courts on it, which of course is up on my uh, lionnews00.blogspot.com, which you can see clearly where I'm wearing. A shirt that says no kangaroo courts on it. Wearing a hat says Axe 529, and I'm holding a camera. Is kangaroo courts something that you came up with, or what is what is that? It's actually a legal uh, term. If you go into a legal dictionary, you'd find the term in there. So it's not nothing I've made up. Something a bunch of lawyers have made up. What's the term? Kangaroo court. Yeah. What's it, what's it mean? What's it mean? It means a court where your uh, vice, where your rights are violated. Okay. See, and that's what you have over here in the lawless shithole called Pope County, Minnesota. Okay. See, because old. Uh, Come with me here. We gotta take care of a call. Yeah, I just have just a 30 seconds left. Okay. Right. Okay. So that also means that Charles Charles Gladsrud's uh, 30 seconds is all I need. Then you can run off. Okay. So that means that Charles Gladsrud's uh, running a kangaroo court over here, trying to maliciously prosecute me, throwing me in jail for a year. Okay. When there's clear, precise, and unquestionable evidence that my evidence is being tampered with, it's being withheld, and blah blah blah. Okay. Thank you for your time. Right. Have a nice Thanksgiving. You too. Yep. Need some backup? We'll help you out. <laughs> well, that was an unprofessional complaint. Yep, did no kidding. Nothing down, did not record nothing. That's fine. They knew what I was talking about to start with, so. Yep. I don't see him rushing off either. Well, he was there for the rescue. All right, get me out of there. Going straight up the hill. Go straight up the hill. Go straight up the hill. Yep. Justice reigns. Yeah. Especially in the lawless shit called Pope County. <laughs> they were probably watching my YouTubes for this a Thanksgiving Day treat. <laughs> now they will be watching it today. Yep. <laughs> but no thanks.
faster, no quicker way to clear out a police station but go file a complaint. Yep. They, oh, wow.